Hi guys, Jay here from borntobloose.com and I just wanted to let you know that we've completely revamped and updated the Groove Asian SE4 course for Cubase. I've just recorded several lessons on how to import and edit and manipulate your own samples, not just drum samples, because as you probably know, Groove Asian is not just a drum machine, oh no, it's a powerful sampler as well. So how to pitch, how to time stretch, how to put them on multiple pads, how to have more than one sample on one pad, how to split your vocals up onto pads so you can do remixes, and a whole lot more. Watch this. So in the first lesson, it's really about giving you a basic overview of this beast. I'll show you how to load samples, how to find the existing samples, how to find the existing patterns. I also take you through all the tabs, like the envelope tabs, the sample tab, slice, etc, etc. I mentioned the mixer. I basically give you an overview of what it does, what it is, and what it can be used for. In lesson two, I explain all about how to get more than one sample on one pad. In fact, you can have up to eight samples on one pad, all with different velocities, and I'll explain the reasons for doing that and all the different modes you've got for doing that as well. Lesson three is getting your head around how the mixer works. You've got 16 different buses, tons of auxes, and tons of different mixing options like kit, master, aux, and agent. I'll be explaining all what this means, and also I'll be explaining how to route effects, for example, reverb or something like that, as a send or an insert. And also I'll be going through routing in quite some detail, whether you want to continue to mix inside Groove Agent or whether you want to have your outputs as individual outputs. For example, here you can activate your outputs and have all your kick, snare, tom, hat, whatever, all coming out on separate mixer channels down in Cubase, so you can use your own plugins. The next lesson we switch over to pattern mode and we discover all the amazing number of patterns that are already built in within Cubase Groove Asian SE4, saving you loads and loads of time. I'll be explaining how to drag patterns into Cubase, how to then manipulate those patterns, and if you so wish, drag them back into Groove Agent so you can save that pattern or save the whole kit as your own preset. So it's ready to go next time. I'll also show you how to dissolve these parts onto separate Cubase tracks, again for much more closer control and manipulation. So that was the Beat Agent side of things. The other half of this massive drum machine is Acoustic Agent which has been done with live recordings around a drum kit, as you can see here. I explain about all the different mic options you've got at the bottom here, along with the transient designer of each and individual recorded audio. Again, I'll take you through the mixer because it's slightly different in Acoustic Agent and the routing options and effects options to you. I also go through the amazing performance dial where you can change the complexity settings of the pattern, auto fills, auto crashes, intros, endings, and no end of controls at your disposal, quantize, swing, flam, MIDI settings, MIDI delay, there's no end of stuff here guys, I'm gonna be going through the whole lot with you. And believe me, you can get some really great live sounding drums that no one would ever know the difference. All within the SE version, which is the special edition, the lighter version if you like. Considering this comes with Cubase, Pro, Artist, and Elements, this is incredible. In lesson six, I show you how to remix the easy way. I'll show you how to bring in a vocal sample, for example, get it into Groove Agent, and then we go to the slice menu and we create slices. Now all these slices are mapped across your keyboard, so you can now create your own vocal remixes or vocal melodies at the touch of a button, and it all takes about 30 seconds to do it. Amazing. And then in the last few lessons, I go through some real life examples of how to add live drums to an existing track that John and I are working on, which is a pop track. And then after that, with Groove Agent again, within 30 minutes, I've made a dark, minimal house version of the same track, purely by messing around with Groove Agent drums and all the editing functions, manipulating tools, and all the many, many effects in there as well. So if you're a beginner to Cubase or have no idea what Groove Agent is and you've never really understood how it works, this is the course for you guys. Check it out on borntobaloose.com and I'll see you in the course. Thanks for watching.